we're here at the Velostrata booth at VMworld 2016, and I'm speaking with Izzy. How's the uh, show been so far, and what are you showing here at VMworld? It's been great, actually, and uh, even today's uh, keynote was kind of preaching to the choir about what we've actually been doing and preaching ourselves to a lot of our customers, so it's a great timing for us. And I'll tell you a little bit about Velostrata. Yep. Uh, so, you know, uh, the genesis of it is that, you know, years, a few years ago when we started the company, we've been talking to enterprise customers that have been telling us that are looking into ways to, uh, you know, adopt the public cloud for, uh, you know, taking advantage of the uh, agility and, uh, you know, the cost efficiencies associated with the cloud. Sure. And, you know, there's no more better evidence than what you heard today, <laughs> and, uh, you know, that, that people are looking for it. Uh, however, when it comes to enterprise workloads, uh, this is actually easier said than done. It turns out to be a very challenging task. Uh, there's issues with uh, complexity of uh, multi-components. There's issues that uh, to do with the data gravity. You have 10 terabytes of a database. It takes forever to move it. So talk about agility. Uh, there's issues with uh, SLAs. Can I get the right performance that I'm looking for? The right resiliency of my data? And also, do I want to be locked in? So all the things coming together and basically uh, make, made it the, the situation where many enterprises are not moving to the cloud. This is where Velostrata comes in, into the picture, because we address those issues by dramatically simplifying the process of moving workloads from on-premises to the cloud in a very, very fast way, very agile, in a very safe way, in a very simple way. And the key to this is really uh, our technology develop, which we refer to as uh, real-time workload streaming, which essentially allows you, with a with a click of a button uh, or through uh, integration with, with uh, VMware operational tools, to actually click on an application and within minutes move it to the cloud, irrespective of the size of the image or the databases, which is unique. No one can do it. And it actually involves a number of technologies that have developed over the years, including uh, fast boot, uh, including uh, Hadoop, caching, predictive uh, prefetching, etc. So very cool. Uh, now, uh, using this, essentially, customers can actually move the uh, workloads into the cloud, and if they want, they can also move them back, uh, which is part of our kind of safety net. We have two major use cases, or family of use cases we support. One is for customers that just want to extend the data center with capacity on demand. So for instance, uh, if you have a deficit environment and you want to spin up this environment to increase your throughput and not over-provisioning uh, your data center, this is a perfect tool because you can actually spin it up on demand as you want uh, and get a, you know, a great solution. We have this ability to clone workloads on demand. That's number one. And number two is if you want to migrate to the cloud, we offer that option too in a way that doesn't require you to replicate all the data. You can actually do fully operational in minutes. You can actually test before you migrate, see if it works, and based on that decision, if the performance is right, move it on the cloud, but you can also move it to another cloud or move back, and all this is done in real time. So that's kind of the story of Velostrata. <laughs> and we're here to get a lot of customers and business. Great. Um, can we see a demo of the product? Absolutely. <laughs> that's what we're here for. I'll have a D show you the, the demo. Great. All right. So, D, can I uh, get a demo of your product? Oh, definitely. Uh, let me switch over to this uh, console and we can uh, go through uh, a demo. In this case, it's a recorded demo, but uh, we'll be um, doing some uh, uh, a description on top of it. Great. So, here we have a machine running on uh, vSphere locally, on premise. And um, this machine is uh, actually bottlenecking on uh, some CPU and uh, is lacking resources. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show how we actually take that machine and through vCenter select the relevant resources in the target cloud. In, in this case, it, that's going to be Azure. Um, we also support AWS. Uh, once you select the target uh, cloud and uh, instance types and uh, the target subnet, uh, the machine is uh, shut down on-prem and started in the cloud. So within four and a half minutes, uh, you can see the system is actually running and it's a 1.5 terabyte machine. So obviously, this is where our VM streaming and caching is uh, taking place. Uh, the, the VM itself is running in the cloud in a native fashion. Uh, so it can participate with uh, any other VM that was born in the cloud and any other cloud services that are offered there. So really give you a, a very 
agile way to expand your capacity needs uh, and, and, and um, requirements to the cloud. Uh, this is something that is uh, often very good for dev test environments where you would want to have a copy of uh, a production system on-prem running in the cloud, and this is where we can seamlessly integrate into the vSphere environment along with uh, link clone capability, which allow you to really run there without uh, any issue. Great, and where can they go if they want to find out more information about Velostrata? Uh, so go to velostrata.com. We'll have a bunch of videos posted there, as well as uh, blogs and case studies on how you can leverage that in, to, in uh, your production environment and your overall VMware operations. Great, thanks for your time. All right. Thank you.